Uh, does it have gyroscopes? How does it stabilize? And uh, the one that a lot of folks ask, is web serviceable? So uh, it does have gyroscopes and reaction wheels. We use the reaction wheels to point the telescope by using the conservation of angular momentum. We have six wheels. You'd need three of them at a time. They're all at slightly different angles. And by spinning them at different rates and changing that spin rate, you can move your telescope. So that's how we'll move about the sky. And then uh, eventually those wheels can become what's called saturated. They spin up too fast and you need to de-spin them. And you do that by pushing against rocket thrust. So we have thrusters that would that we would push against the reaction wheel, and that gives us our life-limiting feature, which is fuel to desaturate the wheels. Uh, we, we're going to carry up enough fuel for about 10 years of operations. If we get a good injection, meaning we don't have to burn any to correct our orbit, we'll get more. And I suspect as people uh, at the Institute learn how to construct an observing program that builds up this momentum in a very small way, we may even get more time. Second question about servicing. Uh, because we're going a million and a half miles away, we have no way of sending people there uh, today or even in the web lifetime. So. Uh, serviceability was not something we built in to the design. In fact, our instruments are distributed in the sense that you can't just go in and take that near cam out because the electronics are in a different place. What we have done is placed optical targets on the bottom of the spacecraft in the ring that attaches to the rocket. And so in the future, if there's some advanced robotic thing that could go up there and latch onto that, it could possibly refuel. That's about the only thing you could do for web. If there's a flaw, it's so distributed you couldn't repair. One of the reasons web is so uh, expensive is that we've had to have a very elaborate, detailed, lengthy test program to make sure we have redundancy and uh, multiple ways to do things so there are no failures in, on orbit. Uh, 